Communication is key when it comes to distance learning, so it's very important that students and their teachers stay in contact with one another. So you might be wondering, well, how do I communicate with my teacher? It's very simple. On the left-hand side, you'll see that there is a chat icon. If you click on the chat icon, you have the ability to start a new chat over here, and it can include anyone that's within our St. Lucie Public Schools school system, so therefore any student K through 12, as well as our teachers. And then you can start typing a message to them down here. In addition, you have the ability to hop on a video call or an audio call with your teacher. Another option is your teacher might choose to meet with you and put a calendar invite onto your calendar. So on the left hand side, after the four icons, you'll notice that there's three dots, which opens up to more apps that are available there. If you click on the calendar app, you will then have a week view of your calendar. When your teacher sends a meeting invite, it will automatically go here onto your calendar. You can click on it to see the details. You have the option to RSVP by accepting, declining, or making it tentative, or if you needed to communicate back to them about the meeting itself, you can add a quick little message there. But once you've accepted it, you'll see that it represents that at the top left side of your screen. It tells you the date and the time in which this meeting will take place. And on the top right hand side, you'll see that you can join the meeting. It also has tracking on, so that means it lets you know who the meeting would be with. So your teacher and you as the student. Another option, if the child is not able to be on the computer at that time because maybe they're sharing of devices at, in each home and that's perfectly fine because every home environment is different. You also have the option to join in with an audio call from a landline or a mobile phone. So if you call this number right here, then you would enter this conference ID if needed. I will say that that will not typically be the most utilized way because it'll be planned out with the teacher, they'll be able to put this calendar invite together, and then you'll be able to just simply come here and join. But I wanted you to know that that option is also there just in case. So if I close this out, I'll return to my calendar view, and I'll be able to see the calendar invite for communication and collaboration with my teacher. This is meant for individual or small group settings. However, sometimes your teacher might choose to host a live lesson. So on the left hand side, you'll see that there's the icon Teams. When you click on it, it brings us back to that Teams dashboard where all of our cards are showing for each class that we are enrolled in. If I were to click on here, you can see that there might be a recording of a previous lesson that is in that channel for us to view. And you would also see a button such as this with a purple stripe that you know you could click on here to join this meeting. So if your teacher is looking to host a lesson for the entire class, then in that general channel or other indicated channel by your teacher, you would have the ability to click on and join that meeting. If you could not make it, that's perfectly fine because there would be a recording of it oftentimes as well. If you have any questions, remember, feel free to reach out to your child's teacher utilizing the chat function on the left side of your screen because communication is key with distance learning.